Good evening. Welcome home to St. Edmund Church. Happy Easter to all. We especially welcome those also who are visiting from around the world for our worship today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. And a very happy Easter to all of you. My dear friends, Jesus is our salvation. Jesus is our hope. On this joyful day, then, we place our prayers and our needs before him, and we seek his mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are the Paschal Lamb who suffered, died, and rose, that we might live with you eternally. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the descendant of David and now forever exalted at the right hand of God. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you have triumphed over sin and death and opened the way to salvation. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May almighty God have mercy on us forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly 
Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest and on earth. Let us pray. O God, who give constant increase to your church by new offspring, Grant that your servants may hold fast in their lives to the sacrament they have received in faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, You who are Jews, indeed, all of you staying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to my words. You who are children of Israel, hear these words. Jesus the Nazarene was a man commended to you by God with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs, which God worked through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. This man delivered up the set plan and foreknowledge of God. You killed using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the throes of death because it was impossible for him to be held by it. For David says of him, I saw the Lord ever before me, with him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart has been glad, and my tongue has exulted. My flesh, too, will dwell in hope, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the patriarch David that he died and was buried, and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet and knew that God had sworn an oath to him that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne, he foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of the Christ that neither was he abandoned to the netherworld, nor did his flesh see corruption. God raised this Jesus. Of this we are all witnesses, exalted at the right hand of God. He poured forth the promise of the Holy Spirit that he received from the Father, as you both see and hear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let 
let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord for God is good. God's mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, God's mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The hand of the Lord has struck with power. God's right hand is exalted. I shall not die but live anew, declaring the works of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord of love and mercy has brought wonder to our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce the news to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached, embraced his feet, and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests that all that had happened. The chief priest assembled with the elders and took counsel. Then they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, you are to say, his disciples came by night and stole him while we were asleep. And if this gets to the ears of the governor, he will we will satisfy him and keep him out of trouble. The soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed. 
and this story has circulated among the Jews to the present day. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Happy Easter. I know it doesn't feel the same. We didn't begin yesterday by going to church. We didn't see most of our own family or any of our church family. We didn't hear our beautiful choir singing. We didn't hear the organ playing triumphantly. There's a lot we didn't have or didn't do. Frankly, I was never a big fan of Easter dinner. I hate lamb, and I can't say that I love ham either. But Easter has nonetheless arrived, and we have no less reason to rejoice in this beautiful gift of hope and love. And we have no less reason to be witnesses to the resurrection of Jesus. Yes, you heard me correctly. We are witnesses to the truth that God so loved the world that he gave us his only son, that his son became like us in every way except sin, that his son so gave us his life and love to the point that he even emptied himself on a cross, and that our God of compassion and love raised him, thereby forever overcoming the darkness of sin and death. All for us. Yes, we are witness and benefactors of this divine benevolence when we hear the word witness, one of the first things that comes to mind are people called to give testimony in a courtroom. Today's readings use the word witness in a related way. While the people mentioned in the readings are not in a court of law, they do give testimony to an event that they and others were trying to grasp. In a courtroom, a jury listens to witnesses learn the details of a crime. In these readings, the witnesses give testimony to the mystery of an empty tomb. Chronologically, our two readings today are reversed, for the events in the gospel took place first. Two women, both named Mary, are running away from the empty tomb. They have just learned the wonderful but strange news that their friend, Jesus, rose from the dead. They hurry while both fearful and overjoyed. The women witness the empty tomb and encounter the risen Christ on their way to tell the story. He tells them not to be afraid and their fear became faith, and their joy expanded. Do not be afraid. Such fitting words for you and I to hear today in our own time of worry and doubt. Oh, that our own fears, too, might become greater faith. Another group of witnesses in the gospel are the soldiers who had been guarding the tomb of Jesus. 
They too had witnessed the empty tomb. But they are bribed to manipulate the truth. Not the first time Christ is betrayed for money. The soldiers follow instructions and give false testimony that Christ's body was stolen in the night. For another group of witnesses, we turn back to the first reading. It is Pentecost, and Peter is with his disciples, preaching to the Jews and all who are staying in Jerusalem. They are exhorting those who hear to have an understanding of the great import of the events that had taken place. Jesus was lawlessly killed, but God raised him up, releasing him from the throes of death. The final group, unmentioned in the readings, but important still, is all of us. Yes, you and me. We are witnesses to the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We have heard the testimony of the witnesses in the scriptures, and we believe their words. We have seen and heard the great works of God and know the great promise that arose from that now empty tomb. So along with Peter and the two Marys, we offer our testimony of truth. Yes, indeed, the tomb is empty. Though we are now living in a new and uncertain age, living in the age, if you will, of coronavirus, Jesus Christ is no less risen. No, life isn't the same as it has always been. But the resurrection isn't stymied, isn't lessened by a dangerous germ. In the past month, we have learned just how vulnerable all of humanity really is. One day, we will return to some semblance of a normal life, but we do not have to wait to be who we already are. Even now, even with the threat of a virus remaining ever so close, let us not so much step out of our homes, but out of the shadow that the stone had created and into the joyful, everlasting light who is Christ risen. Happy Easter, everyone. Dear friends, on this day that the Lord has made, let us turn in thanksgiving and in need to the God who raises his Son from the dead. For Pope Francis and for all leaders of faith, that their witness to Christ risen may be the means through which all the world will come to know the promise, the hope, and the joy of the resurrection. We pray to the Lord. For men and women of every race and nation, created in the divine image and likeness, may God give them a, reward, a renewed heart and place a renewed spirit within them. We pray to the Lord. For innocent victims of war and oppression, and for peace among all peoples, may violence throughout our world be banished, and blessed peace be forever restored. We pray to the Lord. For our Jewish brothers and sisters who are celebrating their Passover, May this holy time be a grace 
and a blessing for them. We pray to the Lord. For Orthodox Christians everywhere who have just begun their Holy Week, may their faith be deepened and their love for Jesus grow more and more. We pray to the Lord. For healthcare workers, for first responders, and for all other essential workers who are placing their own lives on the line for our well being, may they be kept safe from all the harm and be especially blessed for their selflessness and their courage and their compassion. We pray to the Lord. For those everywhere who feel alone or unloved, and for those who are suffering from mental, physical, or spiritual infirmity, may God's great compassion gather them into the care of this parish family and every other community of care. We pray to the Lord. For the people of St. Edmund Parish, that we may live with Easter joy and with grateful hearts, always strive to share the good news of Christ risen with everyone we encounter. We pray to the Lord. For our parishioners, our loved ones, the people everywhere who suffer with illness and disease. May they experience the healing and comfort of the risen Lord. And in a special way, we remember all those who are suffering from the coronavirus and their loved ones who suffer and worry with them. We pray to the Lord. For everyone who has died, especially Robert Dougal, Marty and Bert Calvert, all those who have died from COVID-19 virus, all the deceased members of St. Edmund Parish, and all that we hold deeply in our heart that have departed. May they share in the fullness of Christ's resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, by raising Jesus from the dead, you fashioned for yourself a new people, washed in the waters of baptism, sealed with the gift of the Spirit, and called to the supper of the Lamb. In the beauty of this Easter day, set our minds on the new life to which you have called us. Place on our lips the words of witness for which you have anointed us, and ready our hearts to celebrate the Paschal Feast with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen.
joy the blast of assurance gives. I know that my Redeemer lives. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Accept graciously, O Lord, the offerings of your people, that, renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. this night, whether we are here in Chicago or across this country, or one of our friends in Argentina or Singapore or anywhere else in the world, in faith and in love we are one. And so, with one voice, as one family of God, let us pray in the words that Jesus gave us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, be thy, thy name. name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. And I extend an offer to all at home to offer each other a sign of the Lord's peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, O Lord, and make those you have sent on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. One announcement before we close. We'll be back here again this Saturday evening at 5.30, and then every Saturday evening thereafter until we fill the church again. You can find us permanently on YouTube if you type in St. Edmund Parish Oak Park, ST period Edmund Parish Oak Park. We hope to see you again here this Saturday evening at 5.30 p.m. And please know and be assured of my prayers for you every day. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Hallelujah, our trust.